So what we have here is a PlayStation 2 from eBay, as is. I don't know if we're going to be able to fix it, but the issue they described was the disk drive doesn't work. Um, powering it on. You can hear there's definitely a mechanical flaw, but it does power on, which is good. And so at first I thought this was locked up, but with a controller here, we can see there is input and we can we can see that okay so really it looks like the disk drive is jammed but the system seems relatively functional um i think i'm going to try the usual steps of seeing what you can do to get the disk drive unjammed and then we'll see if it can actually read disks okay so I went ahead and disassembled the drive. I just took it out of the console itself, just disconnect all the ribbons. And I noticed immediately that this console has been taken apart before. This was loose, um, or at the very least it has broken itself. So this is the lid that goes on top of the drive, like that, sort of a cover. Um, and this tray was kind of stuck. Um, what I noticed here when I was taking this apart was that, and I think I know where the clicking is coming from, is this area here, where the actual motor connects. And this, that holds all the gears down, uh, was kind of floating. And I tried tightening the screw because it seemed a little loose, but actually the screw was just rotating this plastic peg here. And this peg had completely broken off, and the screw that was supposed to go through and hold this plate on top was doing nothing because this peg that was supposed to go down was broken off. So I'm going to come up with a bit of a method, probably going to go all the way through the plastic and see if I can put a little bolt on it. Hopefully the tolerances are good enough that I can get away with that. I'm going to find one of my M2 screws and put it right down through there and see if I can get away with that. Give me one second, it looks like my battery on the camera is dying. Alright, so I have a little M screw here, and as you can see, I drilled out a hole so that it'll just fit into this plate right here. Um, yeah, I went ahead and attached it, so that unclips there, and that's how it's supposed to clip in, and you can see that tiny little hole there that I just drilled out. So that's where the screws have to go in. So I have to replace this. Okay, so that's nice and tightened up. Just put a nut on the bottom. It sticks up quite a bit. So I don't know. We'll have to see what I can do about that. Um, but what I do want to try is putting the tray back in now that it's sort of reset here. And we're going to try to get these nicely arranged on both sides and i'm hoping that this might even resolve the issue oops i don't want that to be the case here please hold <laughs> okay so i've got it back together here sorry about this camera work it's terrible um basically just slid the tray back in i noticed that the lens the you saw it, the sliders had come undone there a bit, so it's a bit out of place. And I moved the head back in. We'll see if this works. But I wanted to really demonstrate what I was talking to you about earlier. Um, if you, you don't really want to just tug on something like this if it's locked, because there is a locking mechanism to any sort of disk drive like this, typically. Um, you want to look in for, typically there's a gear. These smaller gears are red herrings for that. You don't want to look for those. You want to look for the small gear, the larger gear, typically. Um, and you can usually identify it by the motor. So try to find where there might be a power header for a motor, and typically that's where you're gonna be looking for your bigger gear. Um, but in this case, in the PS2, you've got an idea right here. Now you know where it is. So you wanna be looking for these gears, and you wanna be turning it. And when you turn these gears, it's gonna unlock. You can see this disc tray right here is raising up, and look, we've already got it coming out. And once you see it start to move, then you can manually move it. But until that moment, you're not going to be able to unlock it, and you're going to damage something. Um, I'm seeing some pretty good movement with this right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to reconnect the cables. 
um, back into the disk drive, and we'll turn it on and see if we're still getting that clicking noise. Um, I am a little concerned about, like I was saying, this guy right here might be sticking up a bit much. I'll see what the clearance is, if it's touching the board or not. There shouldn't be any shorts, uh, but really it's just a clearance issue. We'll see. Okay, so it does kind of work. It seems a little weak. Maybe the elastic does need to be replaced. I haven't tied an actual disc in it yet, but the mechanism now does seem to work. It seems a little a little weak, so that's insane. This seems broken too, though. That is not... I don't think that's supposed to be like that. Um, I'll check, though. Let me... Um, let me get a CD. Okay, put in a PlayStation disc. I don't really care too much about. Hmm. Doesn't seem like anybody's home in there, so not too great. Interesting. Didn't even try to spin it up. I wonder if. Let's try powering it off. Okay, so there's still some noise going on, but the mechanism is working. Interesting. So there's still something wrong, probably with the the lens assembly, I would guess. And so it's it's unable to use the lens assembly, so it's not going to even try to let you do this. But it looks like, at the very least, the mechanical mechanism is repaired. I have to investigate this a little bit further. Because it's not even, not even attempting to spin. I have to look into that. Okay, so if you can see that in there, I found what the grinding noise is just by sort of, I took the disc out and covered up the lens. Um, look at the uh, worm gear here that moves the disc drive. Do my best to focus on it. Okay, I'm gonna reset the console. And we can see that it's trying to move. It's trying to focus, but it's, it's not able to. And this disk drive is not gonna initiate until it can see something. So, what's going on here, it looks like, is that this little tab is not connecting with that. So I actually just Googled it after I saw this. And um, it does seem to be a common issue, and people are recommending that you just try and bend that down. So that's what I'm going to try to do here. I'm going to tell it to open up, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this back plating here. Let me turn the thing off, actually. That's probably a good idea. Well, if I turn it off, it's going to close. Very smart of me. Let me open it up real quick. Okay, now we're going to kill the power. Thankfully, there's a switch for that. Okay, unplug the AC, probably a good idea. Drain some capacitors there. Okay, so what I, I'm going to want to do is take these out, which I saw earlier, which just actually came out clipped in. Okay, so there's that, and there's that. So this is kind of fragile. I'm not honestly sure what these gears are for. Is it sort of a left and right movement? I'm honestly not sure what their purpose is. Either way, what we're looking to do, like we had earlier, it was almost like it was trying to give me a sign, is take this guy up and over. And we can see, ah, look at that right there. I'll try to zoom in on that real close for you. Yeah, that's not so good. <laughs> um, I wonder if I can bend that or get a replacement for that because that's that's not so good. Um, I don't know if bending it's going to do anything. Maybe they sell a replacement. Maybe I can 3D print something. Mine's plastic. I've seen other ones that are metal. That's a terrible design. Okay, let me see what I can do off camera to try and fix that and get back to you. <laughs> I am seeing here now that these gears um, control the height, sort of the, the angle of these rods. I'm not sure what that means, what the correct angle would be, but this does seem to be moving freely. But obviously, if I turn this, 
it's just jumping the little plastic thing there. So I'm not sure. Okay, we're back. And as you can see, the camera's got batteries again. So that's good. I don't have to hold the, my phone up at this. All right. What I did was I lubricated this with the wrong kind of lubricant. You should probably use a silicon grease. Either way, um, I lubricated the legs a little bit because that's what I was reading online is a good idea. Um, but it still wasn't really helping. Uh, but what I was able to do was I was able to get it to move jumping a little bit there, but as you can see, move up and down fairly well if I twirl it with my hands. Um, probably not good for it either. Now my hands are oily. Um, the, how I got it to do that was I found that there wasn't really enough pressure around looping the side here, so I sort of tilted this up slightly more um, by adding a, actually a washer at the back. It'll take it up a little higher than it's even meant to go on the left, and a little lower on the right. That's what these adjustment gears again are for. So now it's grabbing fairly well, but the problem is, and I'll demonstrate this here, that's why I plugged it back in, it still doesn't work properly. You'll see that it goes and then keeps trying to go further down. Well, what's all that about? Well, I'll show you what I think it's all about in just a sec. Let me open it again. This started to jam again. I'll have to look into that. Okay, cut the power, unplug it. I've got a multimeter here. You know it's getting serious when I've got one of those. Um, so, let me try to get it in shot. I've got it on resistance. We're going to zoom in here as best I can. There we go. And now, what you'll see is right over here there's a switch. And this switch is supposed to be the stopper for this guy here. And when this guy here reaches this, then it's supposed to have reached the end of the line. But as you can clearly see in a moment, I'll put my two leads here. This is all the way to the end. There's no further it can go. And yet our measurement, our measurement is still high up there. That's 9.91 kilo ohms. I was seeing in the mega ohms sometimes. So it's a bit flimsy. As you can see, I'll pull this out. And we can see there's it fully unpressed. Oops. See, similar resistance, 9.9 .9 kilo ohms. Oh, the wire's in the way. Can you see it? 9.91. Um, but I'll try to do this without getting in the way for you here. Let me get it arranged. Okay, so 9.91, can you see that all right? Yeah. Push this down. See? So significantly lower when I push this button down. But this thing seems to be a little faulty. See? 5 ohms when I push it in. So, when I push this guy in, it goes down to 5 ohms. So clearly, the switch is kind of not working too well. Should probably replace that. Um, but also, I don't think this is coming in contact quite far enough. I don't know if that's in the way. Not really with it. So what I'm thinking is I either do sort of a hack and I add like a little a extra layer of plastic right on there or I move the switch forward. I'm looking at the switch and I don't really think I can move it forward any further because it just seems like it's quite in there. Um, so I'm probably going to just add an extra little bit of plastic there. How am I going to do that? Probably hot glue. I'll be right back. Okay, it's a bit of an update. Uh, I tried to desolder this. It was too much effort, to be <laughs> perfectly honest. So I decided um, what I would do is I just try dabbing a little bit of hot glue on there. Maybe it's a temporary fix to see if it does work in some way. Yeah, I don't know. Um, got the console on. Let's reset it and I'll show you that it does kind of work. But it still isn't really attempting to... <laughs> spin. Uh, I am not sure why that is. If the motor, obviously there's a connection. Um, <laughs> I am not sure. But 
It is mechanically functional. I will have to do some research as to why typically one of these things wouldn't spin. I even put this on, I thought it might just be this. No, it does not try to spin. And there's, it's not stuck. I can, I can freely spin the disc. So a bit of an update? Well, not really. <laughs> I don't know what the problem is. I did a little bit of research online, some basic things, clean the lens, just did that. That kind of stuff. It maybe the alignment's off because of where the hot glue is, but I, I don't know what to do as a test. Um, as a little bit of an update, I did figure out a way to get the disc drive to mount flush. I just switched that bolt upside down, which makes a lot of sense. So now it's sticking up in that recessed area, which doesn't have any impact. But um, yeah, it, everyone I see online, it just sort of spins, and the general consensus is that. I'll have to play, replace this motor here. Um, I don't really want to be bothered doing that. I don't know, maybe I might just shelve this for now and then come back to it later and see what's going on there. But I, I don't know. It's kind of odd that I'm not really getting a motor at all out of it. It's just whatever here we'll open this up and we'll just to be safe we'll put the magnet thing on so we can actually see it and that should easily spin but it doesn't and it does work like you can see i'll make the camera look directly at the lens because it's not going to affect the camera um, you will see if i reset this I'll move this back and then we'll get a good look at her here. Yeah, get that focused. Okay, let's reset. So it, it is working, but I don't know. Here, I'll even I'll shove the camera right over top of the lens. You can see, you get to see the laser. I can't look at it. I don't want to look at it, but the camera, I don't care if it looks at it or not concerned about this lens power yeah you can see a bit of red there so I mean it could be again the angles wonky these disk drive assemblies are just a bit much so really my options are it could be a motor it could be somehow this is out of balance and it's still not it could be the fact that I used hot glue it, there's too many variables and I'm not sure how to test them at this point, so I might just have to shelf this for now. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, this was still, I think this is still an interesting video. I don't know if I'll post it or not, but I think it was interesting. Let me know what you think.